If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a spoiler that I very much like. Uh, by the time this gets uploaded, hopefully it'll still have been spoiled today, if not yesterday. It is Leovold, Emissary of Trest. And if you thought Edric's Spymaster of Trest was awesome, and broken in French EDH, one-on-one -on -one EDH, you'll probably still love this guy. So, first things first, if you play tiny leaders like I very much like to, good news and bad news. The good news is, you finally have a bug, a Sultai uh, general. So that's awesome. We'll get to the bad news in just a bit, but for right now, we have another card that essentially reads, your opponent should not play Brainstorm. That, like a Chains of Mephistopheles or Notion Thief, is just another one of those cards. They get one draw a turn if they play Brainstorm for whatever reason. They'll, even if they do it on their turn, draw one card and put two back. Feels pretty bad. And if somehow you're able to flash this in, say off of an Aether Vial or a Scout's Warning, although that wouldn't be EDH, Scout's Warning, uh, then yeah, that just gives you the <laughs> the insanity of making the opponent put two cards back off of Brainstorm. Oh, that feels so bad. When something like that happens in Legacy, oh, the Death and Taxes player that flashes in uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth, you feel so bad. Oh. All right. But beyond even that, beyond that, uh, it's a good diplomacy commander for EDH. So what it does, it doesn't do anything explosive. It's not like Animar or Narset or Mizzix or anyone like that, that if you just let them go on their own, they'll get way out of hand. No, Leovold is a relatively fair commander, right? You play them to get a lot of value, and then you just outvalue your opponents. He's the emissary, he's the diplomat. You're supposed to play a diplomatic game, because you aren't going to win just by overpowering your opponents, at least not usually. You're going to win by making allies, and basically playing a game, if you've ever played diplomacy, you're, you're playing that. You also get quite a bit of card advantage, uh, but your opponents have to target, like with Rain, Academy Chancellor, your opponent has to target your Leovold. And that means that you have to, in some cases, just convince your opponents to target you or your permanents with whatever the case may be. Yeah, so they get a little bit of value by destroying a potential threat, maybe, and you get to draw cards. Sometimes that's what you want, sometimes just go all in, turn into a Voltron deck, and if your opponent does anything to Leovold, you draw a bunch of cards. Not probably not how you want to play this but it's a it's one avenue that you have because Leovold is such a flexible commander now in tiny leaders this fills the sultai void the the bug void sounds weird that we all had and it's a really powerful effect in that format where draw power is so consequential in a lot of decks and you can draw into answer after answer after answer I think that you should play Leovold, generally speaking at least, as a, uh, I will one for one you to death, or two for one you, whatever the case. Kind of like, a, if you think of Shardless Bug in Legacy, Shardless Sultai, uh, they're not doing anything explosive, but they're playing cards that just outvalue them, like Shardless Agent, or Liliana of the Veil, or Tarmogoyf, or Ancestral Vision, cards that you can play. I don't think Ancestral Vision's banned. I've actually never checked to see. Cards that you can play in Tiny Leaders. So, what you're trying to do is deny your opponent value, get value for yourself, and just win by slowly but surely building up that steady advantage until it overwhelms them. Is he, is he good? Yes. And then on top of that, he's a 3-3. Three, three. You know, I, I, can, I can understand that. A 3-3 three, three for 3 mana seems on curve, but it's actually a little bit below where you'd expect, given that we're having to use three separate colors. Um, but of course, the rest just makes up for that so hard. Um, 
It seems a little bit weird to me that a diplomat, that an emissary, would be as big as he is. An advisor that's a 3-3 three -three just, to me, seems kind of weird. Then again, look at Amara Tondras, I think is her name. Selesnia, peace and love, and I'm a 5-7. <laughs> what? Okay. Beyond that, though, the one itty-bitty bit of bad news about this, it's personal, it's personal, is that, so for the longest time, of course, in Tiny Leaders, we didn't have a true Sultai commander. And there was a temporary run for a while, you could play a 2-2, that's it, just a 2-2, two -two. it was vanilla. And then the updates, you could have a 3-3 three -three vanilla, or you could have, I think it's called Ana Battle Mage, just type it to be legendary. Um, those were your choices then. I submitted my own card because in the, let me just pull it up exactly just to make sure I say this correctly, because the creator of the format actually gave a little bit of a, not a loophole, but gave uh, an exclusion, gave an exception for us. These were the options that he presented, but he also said at the bottom, this is temporary, this being the current arrangement of temporary cards, until the community or wizards comes up with or prints a legendary creature that fills our specifications. Until the community or wizards. Community. So I submitted to the community uh, this card. This is Eva High Proselytizer. This is my baby. Eva is Evangeline. That's... She's adorable. I mean, just look at that. Why would you not want to play with something like this? Now, admittedly, the card is rather powerful, I think. It is just a 1-1 one, one for 3 and 3 separate colors. Um, but it's a built-in 3 for 1. Granted, you're not getting powerful creatures, but as many times as I tried to find uh, a combo with these, and as many people as I asked, I never could find anyone who could show me, you know, you go get two one ones in these colors and you have an infinite combo or something too powerful. Um, it was made to be an Infect commander, because I'm T1 Glistener Elf, I think I'm contractually obligated to make Infect. Uh, the r trickiest part about it to me was Flash. Maybe Flash made it a little bit too strong, but in fact, on a 1-1 one, one for 3 mana definitely is not too strong in Tiny Leaders. Even if you can keep casting the creature, 3 mana, 5 mana, 7 mana, that's... no, not really. Um, and then going and getting that card advantage is what I thought, you know... I wanted to make the card powerful because it's my freaking daughter on it. You know, she is powerful. She is capable of bending worlds to her whim. That's how that works. If you have a little kid, if you have a 20-month-old, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, unfortunately, and I did make a video about it. Uh, check it out on the card that is in this corner of the screen. I'm having to orient myself here. Um, I did make a video about it, but it didn't pick up like I hoped it would. Part of that is because I didn't really get any games with her on the channel. And the reason for that is because no one around here plays the format. No one else, at least. And even if they did, Tiny Leaders has sort of been withering. It's my favorite fan format, which makes me sad that it isn't played more often, but... You know, c'est la vie. That's such is the way that things went. I think that if I had gotten a chance to play with it more, to show off, hey, look, this is, this is her, this is my card, Maybe we could have gotten something to happen there, but I couldn't really find anyone against whom to play. So, that's... that's life. That's just the way it is. But, I resubmit this to you. Even though we now have an official, have a WotC printed commander, uh, not obviously you have my permission to use the card, of course, but if you put a video of a match with her, on YouTube, please let me know, or if someone you know has done that, please let me know. I think that would be awesome, and I would love to find out about it. Because, you know, the reason I wanted to do this is I'm proud of my daughter, and I wanted something cool to come out of it, something I could do for her, that when she grows up and looks back at this and says, you did that? That's awesome. You know. Thanks, Dad. Leopold, why? Because he hates babies. Leovold hates babies. It's it's canon now. It's flavor. No. Okay. 
that's it. I hope you enjoy this new card. And if you ever get the chance, I hope you enjoy playing with Eva High Proselytizer as well. Oh, the flavor text. Look at the flavor text to that card. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, take care. I'll see you later, Magic Community. Bye-bye. Oh, and one more thing. Eva, I love you very much. See ya.